Hey guys, welcome to our video. The program we'll be talking about is called CK12, an interactive website that can be used by both students and teachers. Before we get into how it can be used in different content areas, here's a quick introduction video going more in depth about the website. The CK-12 website has many strengths to offer students and teachers. There is plentiful access to information. For example, when clicking on math grade to five, you can see that it's broken down by grade levels. Another strength regarding the CK-12 website is the customization to design and create specialized lesson plans, maps, textbooks, and activities. And you have the option to create a bunch of different things in your library. So click on create new. And then it gives you the option to create, to create either a modality, a Flexbook textbook, Flexbook, Flexbook 2.0, a quiz, or standard aligned Flexbook textbooks. You also have easy access to both the Common Core and Next Gen standards. So this is how to get there through the website. You click on the CK12 logo. That brings you to a different page. And then you can see the standard subcategory. Click on that. And then you have easy and complete access to all the math and science standards, including the new gen standards. The CK12 website also has some weaknesses. A weakness of the website is its general size. If students were to not follow directions correctly or were to get misgu misguided, they would get lost or overwhelmed. It lacks directions for students who are trying to figure out how to use it. So to use CK12 with the history content area, you're going to start out on the home page, go to show all subjects, and history is going to be on the, under the more category. So click on history. And then unfortunately, unlike math and science and other subjects, there's only two textbooks for history. So click on either one, clicking on the advanced textbook. And now what this shows is you have a virtual textbook. So now all these are different chapters within that giant textbook that we clicked on earlier. So we'll go ahead and click on one of the main chapters, Colonial America. Once you click on that, now you have the different sub chapters within that one chapter. The lessons and tutorial activities can be used for kindergarten through to the pre-college level. There are videos and other aids that are suitable for students with varying needs. The questions also increase in complexity. Therefore, it lends itself to different differentiation. A teacher can also use different grade level activities to match with the current lesson that he or she is doing. For example, if a teacher is doing addition with regrouping or some aspect of addition, the teacher can use different lesson tutorials to, to work on the areas of growth that that individual child can benefit from the lesson at the level at which he or she is performing. The CK12 website also has a lot of stuff you can do for science. As you can see, there are all different kinds of topics, ranging from earth science all the way to physics. So when we go to earth science, for example, you can see all the other subcategories that are underneath this one subject. For example, for water on earth. 
you can see that there are different stuff that the students can click on. So they can read about it, they can watch a video on it, and they can play games along with it, practice on themselves, and see how it relates to the real world around them. Another subject that we can take a look at is English. Let's take a look at writing. So much like with history, we don't have a lot to work with, but we do have some textbooks. So let's take a look at composition. Composition writing is very important because it's the foundations of how to write a good essay. For example, we can learn how to write a descriptive essay, a narrative essay, or the ever important persuasive essay.